Revolution 3. Hi, I'm Viral Vinny. I don't know if this goodness. is recording. Get 1943 um, The Battle of Midway for free. Then purchase game packs or the standard okay. Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build Yeah, so we are in the middle of a Nintendo Direct. Just going on. Scratch that nostalgic itch um, from Capcom Arcade Stadium <laughs> launches later today. I'll do the intro after. I'm Viral Vinny. The Nintendo Direct. Brains. Smash is in <laughs> Gino Blade. Oh, stop enough. the zombie. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans I was literally just talking about how this game is, like, obscure and nobody remembers this game. And how it's the only a, a Nintendo game. Or an Xbox game. Yeah, so. Test, test, test. It's Travis touchdown. Ooh, versus Travis assassins. versus aliens. Wait, aliens? Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up. Is this even the right okay. game? Okay. So, yes, anyway, I am doing a rack. Okay, cool. Entire city, I did not even see what happened. Now, oh, no more heroes three. Galactic superhero ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Here we go. As the crass beam katana wielding assassin Travis touchdown, you'll need to fight your way to the top. To Yay! Okay, so this is an unofficial direct uh, react. I'll explain hey, later. Hey, not so fast. No more heroes three. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay off the entry fee. You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents, most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. Study their PT. tactics carefully to gain the upper hand in combat. With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded the before death each glove. match. I'm, I've never Native played any of these games. State. I really should. So I hope they port one and two to Switch. Uh, I would, I would play it. Whatever aliens have that you can kick. Anyway, it'll all make sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth, or you know, Nintendo Switch, August 27th. Or, you know. Also, I have Starbucks. This is that's a, it's a great day. We got we got Smash, we got the Switch, we got we got the Starbucks. As above, so below. Why do they need assassins in heaven <laughs> to do someone's dirty work? <laughs> Elevate. Got the. How kind of game is this? It's kill or be killed. You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. God's judgment has nothing to do with it. I don't know what this game is, but it's stylish to old hell. I love it. Beautiful. Uncover heaven's mysteries in neon white. Coming to Nintendo Switch, winter 2021. I'm just so paranoid that like I'm not recording. The DC superhero girls are here to save the day. I actually love the. I love the. Hi everyone. My style. name is Barbara Gordon. Yeah, I know this is for like small children, but they're cute. They're adorable. I like them. Always inventing new gadgets to fight this, crime. This is a like my by the mail beat them up, but this it's cute. Supergirl. She's super strong. If I had a small child, I would I would totally buy them this game. And, and hopefully there's co-op so we could play together. An Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Along with our friends Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. But we're not just about the super life. Like we also God. have school lives, and trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, and maybe take some photos to share on Superstar Post while we're at it. Hey, hey, I got a comment already. Nice. Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Okay, this is cool. Something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming, but when justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. We've just got to make sure no one figures out our secret identities. Junior professional and DC Superhero Girls Teen Power heroically source onto Nintendo Switch June 4th. Okay, it's cute. Depending on the price, I, I, I'd be interested. Ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. I, ready the what cannons? I'm sorry, you want to say that again, Nintendo? Oh, I think Switch is such an interesting thing because 
If this was like, oh, this is coming to PS5, I'd be like, no, no one cares. But coming to Switch, I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll try it, I'll consider it. Thank God there's a uh, crap like this where I can just, um, I can just, uh, play to unlock. Like, cool, so there's no rewards left. Alright, uh... Who will join you in your oh, adventure? Oh, yes! Me, or, anyone can. Metopia? Or... Band Meet together Topia. on a quest but to how? face evil and save faces. Metopia is coming to Nintendo Switch. Cast me characters in various roles across the kingdom. Turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Makeup has been added as a new feature in this game. Ooh. Clam up your Mies and get them ready for adventure. There's also a new wig feature, letting you go wild with your me creations and make them even more fabulous. In the world of Metopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. This can give you this an advantage is, is during cool battle. That they're adding this. Like I, you know. I if wish there, I I sour, I missed though, with uh, things might take path. a turn. I got like worse. a 3DS like maybe two or three years after it came out, and I'm Whoa. always upset that I missed an stuff ally? like this. And that sounds and pretty darn good. Care for it, and it'll lend a hand or good in battle. Venture with friends and familiar faces in the light-hearted romp Metopia, coming to Nintendo Switch May 21st. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Ooh, fancy. I swear, I'm I'm very interested. I'm just trying to be a professional. Oh, here we go. That Animal Crossing shit. Let's fucking go. Give me a more. Super Mario Ooh. Brothers 35th Fuck anniversary yeah. themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in game as furniture items. So place them however and wherever you'd like. Ooh, oh, damn. So, no. Okay, we're pausing the text. Also place two warp pipes. What's in there? What happens? What's your trick, Nintendo? Then use them to travel between locations on your island. You motherfuckers! Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? That changes my whole layout idea. A free idea. update for the game launches February 25th. <gasps> my birthday! After Plus two days. Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. How was that? These collaboration items will be released as part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Speaking of which, last week we had the global launch for the Super last Mario week, remember when we World did that plus thing? Bowser's Fury game. We hope you enjoyed that Mario adventure as well. Next, I always love when Nintendo does that. You. They're like, "Oh, by the way, we did a thing. Have you bought it yet? Buy the thing." To each their own convictions. This is uh uh god, nope. Radiant story. Bravely default. Bravely radiant. <laughs> Radiantly brave. No, this is brave. Bravely third. Whatever. He leaves us no protagonist and hair. 
S. Frost will answer for its crimes Is this the Octopath too? Are these the wages of loyalty? Raised earth and burnt corpses. You and no other must decide how we proceed. You are a leader and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these fields, today you burn. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely, every last one of us. Well, Project Triangle, ooh. Far, far away lies the continent of Norzilia, comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. The constant feuds among they the got nations the salt. over these precious resources eventually ignited into a great conflict it, it must known be full as of the Salt Iron War. Though the hostilities Satari ceased war. with an uneasy truce, decades later the flames of war threatened to engulf the realm once again. You are all that remains. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plots and conspiracies, a brave group from Glenbrook fights to save their kingdom from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say? <laughs> In this new tactical RPG, battles take tactical place on RPG. All right, that's a good sign. I'm gonna go a get a charger. Character's attack range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. The range can be extended by attacking from higher ground with long-range weapons, such as bows and arrows. Thus, your forces can use the terrain and other elements to gain the upper hand. An enemy outflanked is susceptible not only to your initial attack, but also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? charge into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack. We win. Link attacks together by first casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain. Then electrify the area with lightning magic. It is of the utmost importance to survey the battlefield before taking action. Throughout the story, you will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of situations. Utility, morality, utility, liberty. morality. Collectively, your decisions will establish your uh, conviction, um, affecting how the story yeah. unfolds and uh, who will join your I cause. More, I kind of blew, up my, blew uh, off my girlfriend to do this, so yeah, I'm gonna do make sure my phone. Sal does not die halfway through the stream, and then she, uh, Critical decisions that may she gets very the upset. Of Love you, baby. Settled by vote on the scales of conviction. It's really hard to like Use my finger. I cut my finger. Gathered to sway I got allies to It's really hard to like make a heart cause. without bending it. Now, it's, you know, the I got the triangle. The triangle of, of, of equality, the baby. Draw the triangle of equality. So That's all for you. That fucking hurt my head. Lies. His hand was forced. My As hand was not forced. I did it of my own free will. Your journey may take I totally you ran down into that paths palette. divergent from those of other players. You will see what true might is. Project Triangle Strategy. It's going to be called Project Triangle RPG Strategy, guys. Don't be fancy. In 2022. Please be on the lookout for more information in the future. After In this the future, a demo version of this a game. A demo version. I love this narrator. She, she's great. They need her for everything. And in the future, we'll conduct a survey to gather player feedback. We look forward to hearing. Okay, that's cool. So it's far enough that the they demo. have a demo, but also a few years out that Please they can. To future updates they can on this do brand they can actually RPG update the game from Square Enix. based off of the game okay, or based off the demo. A few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? Is that Star Wars? What is this? Is this is the freaking card game? Or Galaxy of Heroes? Yeah, this is Galaxy of Heroes, motherfucker. It's a dope phone game, but like, I don't give two shits about a phone game on a Switch. Who cares? Oh, okay. Didn't really say much, but oh, okay. Star Wars Hunters is a competitive free-to-play online game set between episodes six and seven. 
clash in this third person shooter coming to Nintendo Switch in 2020. So it's a competitive third person shooter. <sighs> All right, let's do this. All right, Sam. Hmm. <gasps> what? Do I look what? at you or the camera? Was that work? Knockout City interviews, take one. We all play for different reasons. Hmm. Corgan love battle. Corgan use many weapons. Triple I love the orax, whole dumb orc trying to be articulate. Like, like, uh, pro. It's just one of my favorite. I, I know Raid Shadow Legends did it, and it's just, I don't know why. It, I love it. Bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once, just once, I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> Look, it's simple. Corgan the cute character swearing, not as much. City, I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch bullets. <laughs> So, so Ubisoft looked at, uh, you know, the Battle Royale, and it's like, oh, let's do our own version. And then EA literally just looked at, um, what is it? Hyperspace. And was like, alright, let's literally just rip off Hyperspace, but make it for children. Like, this looks just like Hyperspace, but Hyperspace mis mixed with Fortnite. I'm so worried that my mic is not recording. Test, test, test! Okay, I heard it. For survival so starts it's now. It starts and now. Because you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. From the creators of the Dangan Rampa and Zero Escape. The Dangan. That Dangan Rampa. Literally. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the 12 of you, known as the Go-Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. I don't want to die yet! Sorry to scare you. I know this is an artist, but it looks like the Pokemon. The game is canceled! What? The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. Yeah, I know there's a specific artist who does the Pokemon game. You make your way back home to Tokyo, so I'm not saying it in a generic, ooh, it looks like Pokemon, but it really looks like that Pokemon art style. I know there's an artist who does it, but I don't know their name, and it looks just like them. World's End Club. World's End Club. May 28th. The Page, there you go, the freaking dorks. I might play it on this, because I think it plays well to a, uh, you know, to like a pick up and play nature, like the Switch. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey out of the underworld. The first is a PC download code for the Hades original soundtrack. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood pumping music composed by Darren Korb. Known for his Get work them on blood pumping, baby. Titles, just like mm. and Bastion. The second is a 32-page full-color character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods, that is ghosts, awesome. and monsters, all by. Super I'm not Trans gonna. Art I'm not gonna buy it, but that's cool for and those who want it. the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. Escape the underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades. Actually, there is an end of Hades, 19. so I might buy. I might buy the physical. Three deadly action games, one masterful collection. <gasps> Whoa! Here we go. Fuck Zelda. This is the collection we're waiting Ninja for. Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Ninja Gaiden Sigma Two. And Ninja Gaiden Three: Razor's Edge. I never. I've I've only played the Ninja Gaiden the PS3 collection. demo of Sigma, and it was tough as fuck. So. This is one of those collections I'm like, oh, dude, I want it. And then I think about it. I'm like, okay, I probably won't actually play it that much. Battle skills that are second to none. Wield an arsenal of killer weapons. Bayonetta kicked my ass, and I, I don't believe that's too hard of a game. This is probably harder than Bayonetta, if I had to guess. 
quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. And team up with other super ninjas in your I do love I, I do love my booby ninjas, but at what cost? All previous downloadable content, including costumes and game modes, are included. Ooh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden. You know, in hindsight, it's kind of weird that 3 was only on Wii U. Summer How the fuck did that happen? Like, I would assume it's an Xbox franchise more than anything. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Excuse me? Also, how spoiler spoiler is this gonna get? Because I haven't played this game, so. Oh, an expansion pad. Okay. Oh, geez, that's... I don't like it when they're... Okay, 20 bucks for two packs. 10 bucks a pop. That's fine. I don't like how there's so much reading, but it's cool. That's that's a fair price. There's that Bravely Default. Four heroes of light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the brave and default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. I need to fight. Veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. My birthday a new plus for 3 brave days. Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. The Ooh. game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. But does it affect the, the development? The in the legendary Ghosts and Goblins series comes to life. As the brave knight Arthur, you'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle monsters across yep. challenging stages within the demon. If it's on sale, I'll buy this. Local co-op play is also available for the first time. Help Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters. Ah, oh, that's bullshit. Barry for defense, Carrie for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Matt, Ghosts lame. and Goblins Resurrection launches February 25th. I feel like two players would make the game a little Nintendo bit too easier, though. So I get it. Eight protagonists. Eight captivating Saga Frontier. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world. And this is the art the style they chose to do it. With their own stories. This with the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles. This looks like some new scenario for the protagonist Acellus. Saga uh, Frontier remastered. Looks like some iPhone crap. The game launches April 15th. Hopefully this is not full price. Apex Legends is storming onto the Nintendo Switch system. This free-to-play battle royale features a growing roster of powerful contenders named Legends, strategic combat, cross-platform play, and more. All players on Nintendo Switch can get an all-new Legends. This is one of those things that's like dope. I'm cool for people. I'm excited for those who get it, but uh, Plus, I, I'm, it's too late. Launch, if I wasn't in Apex XP now, I'm never going to get into Switch. Apex. Fight Being on Switch isn't going to do it. Glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. How's it going so far? There's still a little How's bit it going, more to dude? show you in today's Nintendo Direct, so we hope you'll stick with us. Next, please take a look at this. Oh, oh, here we go. Breath of the Wild. Let's fucking go. Legend of Zelda series. I'm sure a lot of I'm gonna pop my stitches for freaking out so much. The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild game. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. God damn it! We apologize. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information. Okay, at least they were like tempering people's expectations. Now, like, we'll hey, we ask you to wait just a bit. We've got nothing to say. It won't be for a while. Like, at least while you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, okay, here we go. Please take collection. a collection. It's a collection. It has to be a collection. What else would it be? Why would they port just a single game? It has to be collection. I'm, uh... Yeah. I, I still want to play this on Wii, on Wii for the authenticity. Um, but in terms of convenience, I am glad that people could feel. More people can enjoy this now. You know me, I'm a gimmick whore, so I love it. Like, 
the idea of swinging your sword and doing the dowsing rod and all that crap, that sounds cool, but, uh... Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console. Wow, now it's, it's 10 years Nintendo old? Switch. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. <laughs> And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to oh, the that's cool. the sword in the game. I, like, I, I guaranteed her. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But you've added physical. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After That's cool. over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Okay, that's cool. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. To swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally, just tilt the stick in the respective direction. That, I understand people are going to go like, Ooh, that's what I want. I don't want to use motion controls. I feel like that's going to... As someone who... Designed Joy -Con controllers. Why is it not both? The right Joy -Con controller Give me a whole blue and a whole purple. The left features a highly anyway, motif. like as someone... That was the whole the reason Legend I got Zelda turned Skyward off the Sword hockey the games was the fact the that you use the right stick the as the stick. And like, I, I always curve my shots because I'm just not Sword good itself. with it. I'd much rather be one standard button. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering... The I'll, I'll totally play this um, physical as much as I can. July 16th. Zelda Skyward Sword HD launches wait, July 16th. wait, wait. I don't trust you motherfuckers. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran, even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear, I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Wait, where is it? Come on, come, come back, you sexy fucker. Well, what did you think? The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive You already have Wind Waker and, and Twilight Princess. Just do the package. We know you're doing it. Okay. The next game will be our last announcement for today. Please take a look at this. This is Smash. It always says not actual gameplay. This is Smash. So we're getting two smashes? Oh wait, what? No. That that's you. Splatoon three. I think I might actually. This might be like the one I uh, I start with. Or Splatoon World. No. I really want to get onto Splatoon 2, but it's just like the game's like dead. So like there's no point. I much rather wait for three. Which I really hope this is. So I just noticed my mic. Mouse is in the corner. Sorry for any OCD people who said that. Oh, I love this like 
apocalyptic, but like still part of society style. It's great. This is the longest Smash reveal trailer ever. <laughs> No, I know it's it's the next Splatoon. It has to be three. I'd be really cool if they did a single player, but I doubt they're gonna do that. It's Splatoon three. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Crazy, we got, we gotten, I, the timeline might be wrong with this, we might have gotten three Splatoons in the time it's taken to, to get one Mario Kart 8. I think Mario Kart 8 might have been before Splatoon 1, but we still got Splatoon 1, 2, and 3 in that time. So Nintendo really, they, they're really banking on us, Splatoon. I don't care. Give me, give me a single player. Twenty twenty two. Ah! Well, they lied about the whole. Ooh, no more. Only this year stuff. What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon Three. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. At a later time. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. And we look forward to sharing more news with you. In Come the on, you got one more. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. You've got more. All right, they don't have more. Uh, where is We're just gonna scrub a lub. Oh uh, God. I listened to the, so for information, uh, we're just gonna mute this. There we go. Uh, so I listened to the first about like three, four minutes uh, in the car ride over. And then OBS wanted to fuck up at the worst time. Like, I set this all up last night. Everything was fine. And then, um... Uh... Literally, as I was turning on the computer, it started having an aneurysm. So, I missed about the first, maybe... Five minutes. So, we're just gonna go until, um... Until, uh... No More Heroes 3. But I know this is Smash and whatnot. So, spoilers. <laughs> this is my first react. It's a clusterfuck. We're having fun. Which, honestly, this is not that shocking because Rex was the costume. Um, he was like, find it anywhere. Uh, Sakurai was like, oh, I wanted to put him in the game, but it was like too late in terms of like finalizing the roster. So, it was as if I, I, off the face of all I know people are going to be pissed. This is not a third party, that this is a, a Nintendo trace. character, but. Where have you gone? Again, maybe I'm being. Well, okay. I'll find you. Maybe I'm being optimistic, but there's still, what, two left? And again, this pack, you have to remember, this pack was, like, made by Nintendo, specifically. The first one was just whatever Sakurai wanted, and then this one was more, um, whatever Nintendo. I got an invitation to join Smash! Blazes. Didn't, isn't it Sinner Ward his blazes in the battle? Sit back and leave it to me, Rex. Behold the power of the Aegis. Does not work as well with fire. Bum. Don't fuck up that squirtle. Leave that squirtle alone. That's genius. 
You're pretty much owning them. And these are seasoned fighters. Don't fuck up and no boiling. Pushovers. Talk about a tight spot. Mithra? Let me handle this. Yes, I also saw this. Oh, okay, it's just an all. Because I had it playing over the car speak speaker, and I'm like, wait, is it an echo? No, I think it's just it's uh. Mithra, cutting it close, huh? Hey, were these guys planning on winning? Gee, I feel kind of bad now. If I had to, uh, oh, also all the sword fighter fans are probably pissed right now. Ooh, it's another sword fighter. Not like those are the easiest people to balance, guys. Um, and this is probably a hero situation where Mithra is her alt skin. Because I was like, wait, are they doing an echo? I don't think any of the DLC characters have gotten an echo. Oh, wait, what? Quite the spectacle. Oh, okay, so it's like, um. Rumps. It's like, uh, what can you call it? Uh, Sheik. Uh, like how Sheik was in the original Brawl. Look, our friends are here. And there's a boy. Shiloma! I'll lend you a hand. Sacred arrow! Unstrung! That's delicious, but I'm, I'm done with it. Oh! Nailed it! Nailed it! Shulk? I never expected to see you two again. Well, now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you! Ooh, fighting words. You forget. We're fighters too! Dope, 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 dope. Dope on a rope. By the way, Xenoblade's rated teen, guys. That's why they can't be in Smash. We have to let Hello, you know. everyone. Anyway, yeah, so, um, I'm, Shinya I'm just going to be talking to you. I think that was pretty much the only other major one while I was setting up was Mario Golf, year, which is, Nintendo holy fuck. Some news um, through a series of Nintendo Direct mini again, presentations. <laughs> Switch makes However, me break all my rules because, like, I don't like, play, I don't like playing with other people, I don't like playing time. digitally, and I don't like doing, like, uh, games of service I'm stuff, happy and, to share and this Nintendo, Nintendo just with does you all these today. things. Um, um, yeah, so, uh, uh, Mario Golf is one of those things, if Everybody's golf. I think okay. I got that on sale. Uh, if I can the get the people, and again, the that's the thing. If I can get the people the for game, Mario and Golf, Mythical. and Hank, hit up the Twitter at Viral Vinny. Maybe I can add you guys, and we can play some golf tourneys and then do the streamies and all the things. Um, in Super Smash Brothers yeah, uh, this fighter releases in March. It, it, it's one of those games. Like if it was any other, if it was a PlayStation one, like Everybody's Golf, I probably would wait. But because it's Mario Golf, I'm like. Yeah, fuck it, I'll do it. Uh, yeah. Big, big shocker. Fall Guys is on, on Switch. Uh, the only thing I did not see, because I had it laying over my car speaker. Like, I literally pulled into the driveway, kicked my shoes off, and then ran up here and set up. Uh, does it transfer your save data? Also, it... Don't you have to pay for it? I believe. Because that was my biggest thing. It's like, okay, cool. It was, it's cute, but stumble toward greatness when Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system. Yeah, again, I, I think you have to pay for it on an Xbox, and I'm like, why? For, Fortnite is free. Like, you have although I guess with Fall Guys, the, the battle pass is, is free technically, so. Venture into the vast reaches of space. Also, it was not until this trailer I re this is what I realized uh, civilization. Outer Wilds is it about. I didn't know it was about minutes. a 22 minute loop. After that, the sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. However, everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. By repeating these cycles, 
you'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the It actually has made me more this this trailer alone has made me the most interested to play this game. What messages will you discover? I'm not going to, but it's definitely like, oh, okay, I'll put that on the list and the never actually get to it. Why is the trapped in an endless time loop? Find out when the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Air. I love that they're called Famicom, Famicom Detective Club. The girl Detective who stands Club. behind. Two deep cuts from Nintendo history deep are coming cuts. to North America for the first time. Too bad the animation's not localized in English cuts. and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Modernized. Suspense. Drama. Their whole two frames and a second. And turns await at every corner. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. In one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. Okay, the, anim the animation is both very but fluid and kind of like stiff. To crack. I don't know how to describe it. It's very interesting looking. Boobs. In the other game, you'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too This late? is one of those, hey, you know, it's like, oh, hey, the games are like, both of them are like $3.99 on the eShop for sale for one day. I'll pick them up eventually, but I have no interest. Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom As I knock Detective the mic Club, The Missing Air, and Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. A new age of battles ah, begins. Yes, 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 yes. This one was interesting. Oh, that play. It's hard to. It's interesting doing a, a react about something you've already seen. <laughs> um, because this was like <clears throat> when I was setting up. Yeah, because I thought I saw this and I was like, oh, it's uh. Hyrule War or you know Dynasty Warriors. I'm like, oh cool, there hasn't been a Dynasty Warrior games for a while. And then it's like, oh, oh, it's that it's not Dynasty Warriors, it's Samurai Warriors. Bye. The latest entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch. Dive into the history of the Sengoku period as the series now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. Unleash high octane moves in electrifying 1 versus 1000 battles. Party. In Samurai Warriors 5. Slashing its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. The vast world of I don't Fire remember this. I didn't know my phone died. After 20 long years, Legend of Mana featuring remastered okay. HD graphics is coming to Nintendo Switch. That's cool. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Before discovering the world map, is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. Oh. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. Oh, my OCD would fuck with that. Because <laughs> I'm like, I would try and make the perfect town. Each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. Scary pumpkins. Ooh, the music has been rearranged for the scary pumpkins. And you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original soundtrack. Other features have nope, been nope, added, nope. including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the new mini game Ring Ring Land. Legend of Mana will launch. Hey, that's my brother's Switch, birthday. June twenty fourth. Like legit, just my brother's birthday. <laughs> Shout out, JD. Happy birthday, JD. Going for this. The Witcher 4.
Nothing does ancient mysterious society like a machine gun. Monster, again, Monster Hunter is one of those series I'm like, I feel like I would love these games if I played them, but I'm just not going to give them the time of day. Like, I feel, I need someone to play with me. I, I don't, I'm not going to, I, I think it would be, like, it's grindy on your own. I have important news. So if I had someone to help me, uh, it might alleviate the stress the and make it a more fun experience. 50 years ago, Kamuro Village was attacked by the Rampage and Magnum Ballo. We suffered some devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? Our hunter is about to face the biggest. How can you lift that like, cannon on your back? As I keep hitting the mic in the mouth. No! <laughs> we can't lose this gate. Pull yourselves together. You're not getting in. Let's go, everyone. Go rampage somewhere else. You listen to me now. Watch out for the Apex! Do not let it pass! Uh, Apex of Boros. The Rampage. How long do you think it's going to last? One of them's gonna die. That's always what happens with twins. One of them is gonna die. And the other one's gonna be all sad. It's like, ooh, I identify only as a twin. Noah, we should start preparations right away. We're here to offer assistance. Yeah, one of them's totally. We must stop the calamity! Yeah, they're told one of them is gonna fucking die. March twenty sixth. Nice. God, those fucking stickers. Mm -hmm. That's nice that was the latest trailer for Monster Hunter Rise from Capcom. Not the last. We'll do plenty more. Just the latest. Against these ferocious monsters, stay tuned for the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series. Launching March 26th. Next, My Starbucks is just like foam and, and, and sauce and cream. Yeah. The fairway is open like, it, it's again. fucking golf. Who gives a shit? But like, for some reason, I love video game golf so much. Like, I got super addicted to Grand Theft Auto Online golf. That people would be like, let's, let's go deathmatch. Let's go uh, do missions. I'm like, no, golf. So, uh, depending on what time of the year it comes out, characters. if there's no bigger games, I'll probably pick this up. Lush, natural scenery. Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. These features can help you ace your shots. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls by holding Love it. a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Like a golf Gently club. Gently swing the controller to have the your person's character got a nice swing booty. in the game, letting you easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario. The fuck golf, is this shit? Including this one, speed golf. Here, it's always your turn. This is okay. This is the shit I play Mario Golf for. Race through the course to reach your ball. Where, where was this in Tiger Woods? Where was the mini game where you chased him down as an angry ex-wife? To come out on top. Your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Oh. <gasps> story mode. Oh. As a me character, you'll start okay, this is day one by. And develop your golfing skills. While day one by. Various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up. This is a, this is a game of the direct. <laughs> then allocate points to different stats, allowing you to develop. Fuck bravely default. No, this is the game of the direct. You can also use your me in versus play. Put your golfing skills to the test. <gasps> June 25th, Mario it's Golf my Super brother's Rush birthday. Swings on to Nintendo Switch. The day after. June 25th. Pre-orders begin on Nintendo eShop. Of e course they do. Of course they do. After this presentation. The latest game in the Mario Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes. That is, well see, again, this... Golf gameplay with easy-to-learn controls. 
Like it has just enough. Let's like I like I'm always eyeing uh, tennis. tennis I'm, I'm, I'm I, it's Nintendo, so they won't ever do it. Let's but I'm eyeing. To more I'm hoping Switch tennis goes on sale because I would love to play tennis if it was, it was like thirty bucks or whatever. Check out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. Is Travis the first one? Return to no. the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. Play as the Hyperion lackey Reese. Yep, this leak. Quick-witted con artist Fiona as you set out I enjoyed to cover it. a mountain it's of cool. cash. If it's on sale, Borderlands that's about it. Three. This game includes all five episodes, filled with classic Borderlands humor. I know people Gangsters, liked it, but bandit lords and vault I, I, are just I haven't played enough Borderlands to really this choice -driven love or hate the series. Adventure. Embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch March 24th. 32 of Capcom's <gasps> most beloved arcade classics are coming to Capcom's Nintendo Capcom's got the good shit. Rewind gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety of Because I remember they have, like, the arcade beat -em up thing that's goodness. on my wish list, too. Get 1943 too. The Battle of Midway for free. Then purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Oh. Local co-op play is also available. Scratch that nostalgic itch when Capcom that's Arcade cool. Stadium launches later today. Cool, 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 cool. That's my jam. I would totally be about that. As a zombie, and yes, I. Can't get okay, we might be going to circle, but yeah, I said like I was literally arguing with someone earlier. I'm like Stubbs isn't a recognizable uh, franchise. It doesn't have the prestige to to keep with modern games, and then they fucking port it to the Switch. So, <laughs> fuck me again. I'll pick this up if it's a cheap price. It's Travis Touchdown versus Assassins. Okay. Wait, aliens? Wait, aliens? <laughs> aliens have invaded Earth. Aliens. Hold up. Is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic... Wait, he's got a switch on his fist? Or like, yeah, the Joy-Cons. I fucking love Suda. Assassin, Travis where, where is You'll need to fight your 1 and 2, though? Save the world. Give me 1 and 2. Hey, 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 not so fast. Even though it's on PS4 and to PS3. Enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay off the entry fee. You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. Study their the aliens even have sleeves. The upper hand in combat. With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. The fate of the world is at stake. Do it, Get man. Kick some, uh, whatever aliens have that you can kick. Anyway, it'll all make sense when Ooh, no Akira. more Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or August! Nice! Okay, so I can get Mario and then this. Exterminate okay, demons yeah, so we're just gonna... in he heaven. Okay, so we're just gonna... Uh, uh, I'm gonna adjust. <laughs> I'm in a very awkward position. Um... But yes, yeah, so, uh, because I don't want to go on too long and I tend to ramble. Okay, so we'll just go, uh, um, <coughs> excuse me. So yeah, um, here's the thing. Uh, hello, uh, welcome to the end of the stream. Uh, I am Viral Vinny. Uh, this was an impromptu react. I literally, like, I had to, uh, like I said, uh, deal with, uh, with some stuff and... I was hoping to just hop on, start streaming, whatever, and of course, um, there was, uh, mad traffic, people going crazy, things of that sort, uh, point is, uh, yes, this is my <laughs> react, um, uh, here we are, so, uh, I'm Viral Vinny, uh, very weird doing an intro at the end of the stream, it's like, hi, I'm right, getting the fuck out of here, um, yeah, so I didn't get to say, like, doing a preamble, uh, I know people were hyping this up because, like, oh, this was the first direct in, uh, in in like a year and a half, and it's 50 minutes, and and they're gonna be talking about like blah 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 blah. I'm like, for me, I always go in with a tempered expectation. I'm like, give me one, maybe two, maybe two, like, oh damn games, and we're good. That's a good direct. Um, I know people are always like, you gotta end it with a banger, it's gotta, it's gotta start, and be in the middle, and like, no, like, that's just, it's not realistic to expect that it's gonna be banger, 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 banger. Um, <clears throat> even stuff like this, like, you need some fluff to go, like, to breathe and go, like, okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, and there's certain stuff like Mario, like, 
I think Mario Golf, if it was just by itself, I probably wouldn't be as excited. But because it's in the direct format, it's like, okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm excited. Um, even this, like I said, this dumb, it's a licensed, you know, cash-in game. But I'm like, okay, cool. If I had a daughter, I'll, I'll buy it. Um, I'm assuming it's coming to other platforms. It'd be weird if it was Switch exclusive. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just cute. Um, so yeah, I, I, when I think about all the, the stuff... It does seem light initially, because it's just like, oh, cool. Uh, Pira for Smash, Mario Golf, uh, No More Heroes, uh, Zelda, or Skyward Sword, and then a lot of ports and, you know, old games. Um, I don't know. I enjoyed it. I think I think it was fine. I can, again, I can see how people would be disappointed, but on a certain level, I do feel that people are... Um, they're uh, overhyping themselves. They're they're expecting the world. I think Mario Golf and and uh, uh, excuse me, Splatoon three, which again I wish we got more of because it's like all right, cool. What what does that mean? Like I I'm hoping that intro means that they're doing a a single player for Splatoon because there was like a few training missions in one and then there was nothing in two. Um, but yeah, so, I don't know. I, I thought it was a solid fine, uh, a solid okay. Um, I enjoyed it for what it was. Um, but uh, I, could, I could see how people would be disappointed. Um, so, yeah. Um, I Honestly, if I had to write it, probably, like, I'm generous. I'll give it an 8.5. Yeah, 8.5 is all right. It was, around, it was good. I enjoyed it. Lots of good stuff. Uh, honestly, as soon as I'm done this, I'm probably going to go look at the um, the roundups because I think the biggest people's biggest issues with last year was the fact that um, it was Animal Crossing, nothing, 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 Paper Mario, nothing, 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 and then Pikmin, and then nothing, nothing, nothing. So, like, you guys have, like, the next five or six months planned out, right? You're good until July, August. The first half of the year is done. Then we can worry about all the other stuff. Um, but yeah, I thought this was good. I thought it was fun. Um, I, I re you know, I, I also do like the fact that they're like, hey, uh, Zelda, pff, not this year. <laughs> get, get the fuck out of here. Maybe at E3, they'll do a deep dive. Um, and I still, it's still weird that they're not doing the, the anniversary collection. Because you know they're going to do it. Um... Like, I have, I have Wind Waker and uh, Twilight Princess on Wii U. So, like, I would be all fine for it. I want more people to play those games. They're great games. Uh, <clears throat> but it, it just, it would be weird that they're uh, only doing Skyward Sword. Uh, hopefully they adjust the price accordingly, because All-Stars was, I think, full price. And that was three games. If they start full price for just a port with like fancier graphics or whatever that might be a bit much like break it make i guess in america and make it like you know uh 30 40 bucks um yeah animal crossing stuff i don't know it was a solid one uh, i really don't have more much more to say um but yeah uh so until then uh i have been viral vinny like look i'm literally like in my my work like i <laughs> i have not changed uh, i am a mess um yeah, but until next time, uh, I, or, well, I'm very good at plugging myself. <laughs> uh, if you've enjoyed my random incoherent thoughts and you want to hear um, more of my random takes and random opinions and just the focaccia that comes out of my brain as well as um, where you can get links to future streams, hopefully, where they're on time and not <laughs> uh, a disaster fuck, um, at Viral Vinny. Uh, on Twitter, uh, Instagram, Viral Vinny Show, uh, on, uh, YouTube, uh, on, uh, Facebook, all the fun places, uh, blah, 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 um, but yeah, uh, I have been Viral Vinny, this has been, uh, the February 17th, 2021, I don't know why I said it like that, 2021, uh, reacts, uh, and yeah, um, uh, I love you guys. I love my girlfriend, Sarah.
Cause you did.